Hawks if he were here and suffered defeat just last season in the FA Trophy. And plenty remembering that experience bitterly. Things have changed a little since Oxford were last here. And they have the weight of numbers in terms of the support with the uh, shorter journey as well. And there is that little sense of expectation because they are just the favourites. Comes to the dreaded shootout which is how it could ultimately be decided tonight. The Brodian ranking, they don't lose many headers. The ball's hit long up to them. Did a handful. The constable has peeled away. And again, Ingham out swiftly, but could be made to pay. It's Green with a chance. And Green has scored! He took it magnificently. Matt Green gives Oxford United the lead. Well, it's one ball over the top again. And as much praise as they're giving him in the first five minutes, he's come out and got that one wrong. Ne tried to pull out it at the end. It's a ball over the top for Constable. He's come out, never got there. The support's quick. They win a header, and what a finish. Half volley from Green, top corner. It's a fantastic finish. Just what Oxford needed. Now York with two fullbacks sitting in front of the fullbacks. They've got four fullbacks out there in the wide areas. Yeah, the late Morris Evans, what a great man he was. Great manager for the club, he signed me. Lovely man. Not with us but anymore. Apart, apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> he did a lot of good things. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Here's Green. Oh, white right four here. It's Constable who's in for a second! It's a long way back for York City now. They believe that they're heading back to the Football League. Well, it's power and strength. Another straight long ball at the pitch. And they're not, they're just not able to cope York. Constables hook the ball on. But it's this second challenge here. He's away, he's, he's anticipated. Got the ball onto his left foot. Yeah, he's not give it and stood. He's reacted before right, I think. And it's a cool finish with his left foot. Hit the target. Just hit the target. Crichton has uh, kept his head and his feet just. This is bat. And a terrific outlet for Oxford so far. Green. Chapman. Bat again. This is Bullman. Bullman to take it on again. And now Green might fancy the strike. Hingham taking no chances. Great football. Started with Bat coming down the right. Great ball round the corner into Midson. Good movement. Full of confidence now. You know, I found at this level the players' confidence can can go with a split decision. There's you know? no question that Oxford are absolutely flying in that respect at the moment. Oh, and Constable may have felt his shirt was being tugged. Oh, off the post, extraordinary. Constable. It was nearly Mitchell game over. arriving back post. Nearly game over. It's a free header, middle of the goals. I think Midson's hit the post. He's got to score there. And I think it's game over if that goes in. A couple of the defenders slip. Midson gets in front of his man. He's got to score. Six yards out. Will they? Will that cost them later on in the game? Lawless up against Chapman again. Lawless once more. Lucas is ball in. Oh, and a terrible error from the goalkeeper. He has gifted Yorker Root back in this match. A horror moment for Ryan Clark. And hope. For York City. Well, you feel for the lad. It's a disaster for him. No danger. It's a nice flight across for him to catch. And I can, you can only put that down to nerves. 
he, he'd take a thousand of them in training and wouldn't drop any of them. It's gone straight through his hands and over the line. York back in the game. Well, it's amazing what the Wembley Nerfs can do. And from nowhere, really. A real handful. I think, he challenged, I think the challenge was timed just right. Well, this is Perkis. Here's York who need to assert themselves here. Perkis again. Towards Brody this time. Came off his arm. Oh, but Rankin has gone there! Oh, what a chance. What a chance. And it's just the physical presence again, Brody and Rankin. It's just a hopeful ball it forward. Brody uses his strength. Gets a lucky break there. He's got score. Left foot. Oh, he's got it at the target. Just like that. 2-2 it could have been, it's handball as well from Brody. Brothers down on the ground here for York City, this is Gash. Find Barrett. Lawless, on for Barrett again. Oh, this is beautiful football! But Barrett couldn't cap it with the finish. Brazilian-like football, fantastic. One-touch football. Winger comes in off the line, plays in the midfield, man will give and go. Nice back heel. Just the finish was missing. Got to use your left foot there. Easy from where we sat, though. But safely away from danger in the end. That's Pitt. Brody in there. Now they need something from him. Clist with the challenge. This is Potter. The break on here for Oxford, although it's three against four. It's a terrific run by Potter and Constable. Can he finish it? Oh, an extraordinary let off for York. That could, should have been game over, and you would expect it with him around. Well, it's on his left foot. He struck one in the first half. Brilliant. This is great play from Potter. He sucks two defenders in. You'd fancy him there, he's had a great first touch. Hit the target, he keeps it down, every chance of it going in. It's Pitt's corner. Sangare looking to rise up for Potter, and they could finish it off here, it's two against one, he's got Deering to his right. He's got to feed Potter again, Potter to wrap it up! Oxford United are back in the Football League! That's it, League 2, here we come. Tremendously worked goal as well, I mean, York have thrown everything at it. That was it. There was always a danger of that happening, they had nothing to lose. They've sent everyone forward and they've got caught on the break. But the execution, Potter's played the right pass to Deering and Deering's played the right pass at the right time. And he's took it brilliantly, great finish. Because you never know, there's still four or five minutes injury time left. If this don't go in, good touch, didn't panic, great finish. And I have to say, one of my old clubs, Oxford, the fans are going mad, 30 from them, they deserved it. This is Clist, I don't think he's got to any other ideas than to head for the corner. And why not? Oxford are back in the big time! After four years away, they return to the Football League. Desperate disappointment for Martin Foyle, but for Chris Wilder, he has achieved what he set out to do.